three cameras. Wow, that's never happened before. Hi, Chef. Hello. How are you today? I'm great. I usually uh, find myself sitting pensively at the bar, drinking my coffee, pondering the meaning of life. Shall we start then? Yes. Okay. Um, do you normally come in at this hour to the restaurant? This is around the time I show up every morning, yes. Uh, how many hours are you generally in the kitchen? Anywhere between uh, 12 to 14 or 16 sometimes. Uh, you went to Culinary Institute of America to learn cooking. What kind of food cuisine were you focusing on? So the great thing about CI is it doesn't focus on a specific cuisine. It uh, teaches you the basics and then every every step of the way it just gets more and more advanced. So, worldly cuisine. Um, how would you define American cuisine? American cuisine is a little difficult to uh, define. It's uh, it's kind of an amalgamation of a lot of different uh, cultures coming together. Um, and it's still kind of evolving at a really fast rate. So, hard to define but a melting pot of cuisines. Right. How would you define Indian cuisine? Indian cuisine should not be defined. Uh, we have uh, we're practically a continent. We have a lot of different uh, sub cuisines and sub regions. Um, and I'm actually in the process of discovering Indian cuisine myself. Uh, if you were not a chef, what would you be doing? I would probably try my hand at writing. Uh, interesting. Uh, three items at the, the top of your bucket list. Uh, write a book. Uh, run a marathon. My brother my inspiration and uh, make a food trip to Japan. One food destination in India that you recommend people travel to? Somewhere in the northeast, uh, Nagaland or uh, Shillong. Uh, one food destination outside India you recommend people travel to? Barcelona. What is the most underrated spice condiment? For me, at this point it's vinegar. Uh, there are a lot of different uh, types of vinegar and each of them bring different flavor profiles to dishes and it's usually the hidden ingredient in a, in a dish. Nice. Uh, sweet or savory? It's always savory. What is the secret behind getting the poached egg right? Uh, start with really fresh eggs, a shallow pan, uh, the water needs to be simmering, a little bit of vinegar in the water and uh, make sure that you shock the eggs in ice cold water once you're done cooking. Oh, that's helpful. Uh, where did you go on your last holiday? I haven't taken a holiday in a while, but uh, on my last food trip, I went to, uh, I did a trip around Maharashtra, uh, ending at Kolhapur. Do you shop for food ingredients on your trips? Every time. What did you bring back from your last trip? Uh, I brought back Kanda Lasun Masala, the onion garlic masala from Kolhapur. Chefs you admire? Chef Floyd Cardos, who's uh, business partner, uh, Massimo Bottura, Dan Barber, and my ex-boss, Chef Eric Repair. Other tables you enjoy eating at? In Bombay, it's uh, any of Chef Kelvin's restaurants, uh, Suzette, Bombay Salad Company, Yaucha. Uh, in Delhi, it's Indian Accent. In Bangalore, it's Tosin Tonic. In Calcutta, it's this tiny restaurant called Kosturi. I can keep going on and on. Uh, one food fact you would like to share with us? Um, a lot of ingredients we know to be synonymous with Indian food aren't uh, indigenous like potatoes, tomatoes and uh, chilies only came to India in the last couple of centuries. We didn't know that. Uh, what is one of the food trends that you dislike? At, at this point in time, uh, charcoal everything. <laughs> no. do, you, do you read a lot of cookbooks? Uh, any that you can recommend and why? I only read cookbooks. I have about 70 in my collection. Um, but uh, I would say right now, Salt, Fat, Acid, Heat by uh, Samin Nosrat. And uh, if you're learning to be a chef, most of the books by Karen Page and Andrew Donenberg. Currently, I'm reading a book called uh, Kitchen Creativity. Uh, parotta or naan? Always parotta. I grew up a Malu. <laughs> your grandma, who we understand played a really important role in your choice of career ran a local cooking club. Did you help out in the kitchen? I didn't help out in that kitchen. That was uh, before my time. Uh, but I helped her a lot. In fact, uh, all my first cooking lessons were in her kitchen. I learned first learned to make a dosa. And uh, any other cooking lessons that you learned from her that you cherish? Um, she used to make this incredible uh, duck curry uh, with, uh, with egg uppams. And uh, we actually have that on the menu right now at the Bombay Canteen. 
tapi uh, we hear that you are part of a rock band in college and that you love singing can you sing for us today um at the cost of being embarrassed in my own workspace uh, okay. sure <laughs> um <coughs> Well you done done me and you bet I felt it try to be chill but just a hot that I melted I fell right through the cracks now I'm trying to get back Oh that lovely thank you so much mera morning uh if you were going to space what food would you take with you Um my grandmother's duck curry fish or meat fish When one is cooking fish on a pan, how does one make sure that it doesn't the skin doesn't stick to the pan? Make sure you start with a really hot pan. Uh the fish needs to be dry and preferably at room temperature. Uh once you put the fish on, don't move it around. Uh flip the fish only when it releases itself from the pan. Okay. Uh there's a copy of Gather magazine right next to you. Uh yes. well the issue is dedicated to senses. Any exceptional Indian dish that comes to your mind that evokes all senses, chef? For me, it would have to be uh, some form of chaat, uh, like pani puri. Uh, creative visuals in photography play a really important role in popularizing food today. Could you quickly flip through that magazine and anything that strikes your uh, attention? Glazed ham. Yes, and that's as much ham as the image. Yes. Um, one food experiment that you that you thought was a complete success. Um, when I was able to kind of recreate and uh, innovate upon a very traditional indoor dish called puttega kees. Mm-hmm. Uh, one food experiment that was a complete disaster. When we first opened the Bombay Canteen, we had this dish on the menu which was a spaghetti. uh in a rasam sauce that didn't work oh, oh, yeah uh fill in the blanks every new recipe starts with a story right one dignitary or celebrity indian or international you'd like to host what would you serve him or her in fact i was lucky enough to do this uh chef massimo botura from australia franciscana and modena uh he was here a couple of months ago right and uh, we did a breakfast event with them and uh, we just uh, i we fed him uh breakfast dishes from all over the country inspired uh, in the in a bombay canteen style uh, in bite size pieces excellent uh, are you a fan of movies big fan any food movies uh, that come to your mind um one of my favorite food movies is uh, the big night and there's yeah. a scene of uh, this italian dish called timpano which uh, i really like yeah uh, the most underrated food destination in india kerala the one kitchen philosophy that you and your team follow respect we uh i make sure everybody respects each other the ingredient the techniques right uh the most difficult ingredient you worked with i'm still trying to figure out how to use uh or how to put karela on the bamagani menu uh the right ingredients the right recipe or the right skill which one's the most important to you and why I would say the right skill because with the right skill you can find the right ingredients and create the right recipes. The one thing uh that you don't know how to cook and you really want to learn. Uh I've learned the basics of it but uh good sushi. Mm. A dish which you made or tasted that influenced you in some way? Uh the egg schedule on the Bombay candy menu. Uh mm-hmm. it was practically an accident or a joke on a day one and turned out to be this legendary dish on a menu it is indeed uh the dish you're most excited to cook and the one you're most excited to eat i love cooking eggs so eggs in any form at any time of day or night uh it, it's just almost therapeutic for me to cook eggs to uh, eat uh my first meal when i go back home to kitchen a kitchen ritual It's it's also again a joke in the kitchen. Uh, I call it uh, Chef Tezak's Prasad, where I go around giving everybody soap in their hands and make sure they <laughs> wash their hands all the time. Well, we know we're in safe hands at least. Uh, what has been the best experience so far being part of the Bombay Canteen? Uh, whenever we talk to guests, we figure out that our food reminds different people of different memories from their uh, childhood, and 
that's really endearing to me what were your new year's resolutions to travel to at least six new places in india i have not been to uh, to take a holiday uh, yeah have you ticked out any of the six new places yes i went to uh, kolapur so right. one done of course uh, secrets to your success uh be honest stay positive have fun and uh, always be hungry to learn advice you'd like to give to any budding chefs out there for the first 3 to 5 years of your career you should focus solely on learning so find the best chefs and restaurants to work under and learn from anything special coming up ahead that you're really excited about and you can share with us uh really excited about a lot of collaborations uh, we recently launched a cocktail menu which we're going to throw a big bash for uh, so that's that's exciting and some food collaborations coming up as well excellent Thank you so much chef for joining us. This was really exciting. Uh good luck to you. Thank you everyone for joining us for this live session and we'll see you in the next live session. Thank you. This is fun.